my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. I look like a boiled egg because I'm trying to do this thing where I don't wash my hair every day. So we're just gonna have to deal with the boiled egg look. I just, when my hair is up, I'm like, oh my God, the true boiled egg look is really coming through. As you guys can see by the title, I'm sure you guys can read, I'm going to be eating breakfast from around the world. So I got all these breakfast ideas from you guys. You guys would send in your country and then like a typical breakfast that you guys would eat. So all these are from you guys, except for today's. Today we are doing the US of A because I am from the US of A, which means that I think the United States of America is the only country that exists. <laughs> so I don't actually know what a typical breakfast in the United States is. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just look it up and see what comes up. Okay, so I found this image. So the typical American breakfast includes bacon, eggs served with toast or home fries. But also another common breakfast food in America is pancakes. And another one is a bagel with cream cheese. So what do we do from there? What do we do from there? What if we just have eggs, bacon, and home fries and pancakes? What if we just do it all? Let's just go a little crazy. Let's be a little wild, you know? Quirky girl hours, let's do it. The only problem is gonna be cooking everything because I only have two pans right now. So let me see, I could put the home fries in the air fryer. With the home fries in the air fryer, I can make the eggs and bacon in one pan and then use the next pan for pancakes. I could do that. Okay, I just flipped these pancakes. You know, I've got the eggs and the bacon cooking still, but I just want to document, like how, these look beautiful. I kind of popped off here. I feel like this is the nicest my pancakes have ever come out. And yes, I made chocolate chip pancakes. It didn't mention the type of pancakes, but I don't really care. All right, we're just gonna ignore the mess in the background. Hi, Kyo. Mother, I crave violence. <laughs> My kitchen's a mess right now, but you know what? That's just what happens. That's the sacrifice you have to make when you cook. So I have this portion of my meal, which is just eggs, bacon, home fries, hash browns, potatoes, whatever, and some ketchup, quite a bit of ketchup for my potatoes and my eggs, because I like ketchup on my eggs, okay? I know, I'm controversial. I always think twice about the people you support. So, <sighs> and then this, I just have some like maple syrup because I'm a dipper and my three pancakes, which came out so good. I'm like so proud of these pancakes. Y'all don't even know, but this is a, Big meal. I'm freaking hyped. Am I gonna finish it all? Probably. Oi, 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 oi. Stop. I can't take my eyes off of you for more than two seconds. Let's dive in to this meal. Bro, this looks so good. Like five star Michelin, really channeling my inner Felix right now. Get a little ketchup on these eggs. Yes, sir. I know there's like different types of hash browns. I don't know, I always call these home fries. Again, I don't know if these are considered hash browns. When I think of hash browns, I think of like the shredded kind. These pancakes are perfect. Hmm, don't do it. You don't care. I love when people say like, I don't like cats because they're mean. I'm like, that's one of the best parts about having a cat because they don't give a fuck about what you think. They don't care what you say. They do what they want and I respect that. Hello, today I'm doing Korea for obvious reasons. So for breakfast today, I'm doing a Korean inspired breakfast and I'm going to be trying something, like I've had a lot of Korean food in my day, but something that I have not tried is, it's a street food and it's just Korean street toast and that's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. So let's just get into it. I'm getting this recipe off of the internet, probably from someone that isn't Korean, which is not the best idea, but we're working with it. So what you have to do is you gotta mix the cabbage and the eggs together. And then add all that, add pepper, cayenne and salt, and then you mix the eggs in too, okay. I think the recipe says two eggs. I don't know what the equivalence of two eggs is with this. I gotta grill the bread with butter. I have to top these with sugar. Some recipes are like different. So I'm just kind of going with what I want because I don't follow the rules. I'm just going with what sounds good. Some add cheese, some add jam, some add mayo, some add mustard. I'm gonna just do what I wanna do. Now we do the bread. Like so. And while I wait, I'm just gonna eat a plain slice of bread because why not? Don't do it. Get down, please. Don't. I'm gonna be adding cheese. So everything's almost done. We're adding the sugar. Ooh, that's like the perfect size. I'm killing it. A little bit of each. Okay, so here's the finished product. Doesn't look too shabby, kind of messy. Probably they, they probably serve it like where you can hold something that isn't your bare hands because my hands are really like buttery right now and gross, but it's okay. It's just me. It's not like I'm on a date or are we? 
Yo, hold on a second. That's fire. Mm, that's so good. I'm sorry for the noise. Kyo, sorry about that. But oh my God, this is so good. The like slight sweetness, everything. This is so good. Like I'm making this again. Kyo, stop it. Kyo, where's Bomi? I can't believe I've never had this before. This is magnificent. Honestly, kind of a 10 out of 10. Stop it. He looks so done with me. Uh -uh. Hello, day three of doing this and I'm going to be doing, uh, I took a screenshot of it. Is it Denmark? Okay, yes. So a Denmark, a typical, this is all according to you guys. So if this is wrong, you only have yourselves to blame, okay? I'm trusting you guys. I'm putting my full faith in you guys. So someone commented saying that a typical Denmark breakfast is small buns with butter or jam or end jam, and then yogurt with granola and fruit, which seems pretty easy enough. You can easily put that together, which I thought it was great because I'm running late. What else is new? Because I have to stream soon. If you aren't following me on Twitch, here's a shameless plug. If you aren't following me on Twitch, you should follow me. So we have the rolls here, butter, jam, yogurt, granola, and then I'll slice a banana. Am I recording? Oh my God. I thought I was recording for a second. I would have cried. Let's do like, I don't know, like three. Stop. Oh my God. Stop it. Actually, maybe I should have two. Make little butter jam sandwiches. God, so many of my friends have like found my YouTube channel lately. And I just want you to know if you're a friend that I've made lately that found my YouTube channel, I'm sorry and also stop. Something that I used to eat all the time growing up was just like plain buttered rolls, which I don't know if that's common elsewhere. Just eating a plain plain buttered Kaiser roll. I don't know if this is right. Like, am I doing this right? I'm just making little sandwiches. Is that what I was supposed to do? I mean, this is a pretty like simple breakfast. Some of you guys sent in super simple breakfasts and I want to do them, but also like, I don't want it to be boring for anyone. Very simple, very easy. Why are you like this? Mm -hmm. It's a very carb heavy breakfast. Denmark knows what's up. Denmark is my kind of place. What do you have in your mouth? I got a few people that sent Denmark in. A lot of your breakfasts are like things that I would eat on a daily basis already. Mm. But even though the breakfasts are simple, people said they'd be really happy to see it. See representation for their country, which I get. Because even though the breakfasts are simple, I still think it's interesting to see the difference in the countries. You know what I mean? It's like two simple breakfasts from two different countries, but they still are very different. I love bread, oh my God. It's thundering outside, like crazy thunderstorm going on. My lights just flickered. Hopefully I don't lose power. Oh my goodness. Okay, do you guys hear it? Oh my God. Today's breakfast is going to be French based. France based. Yes, we have a pretty simple breakfast here. So apparently a typical French breakfast would be a toasted baguette with jam or butter or a pastry like a croissant or pan out. I don't know how to say that. I don't want to butcher it. I really wanted to get a croissant, but the place that sells vegan croissants is very far from here. So I'm just going to do the bag. I'm just gonna do the baguette. We're gonna have one with jam. We're gonna have one with butter. We're gonna have one with uh, like a chocolate spread. The second I stopped recording, my power went out for a second. Holy, Whew. I love me some thunderstorms. I just don't like when the power goes out. So we have a baguette here, lovely. Not gonna be as good as the ones in Paris, but you know, it'll do. Oh my God. My cats aren't even flinching. They're like, whatever. I'll just toast them for a little bit. I don't want them to be too toasted. We have the toasted baguettes, quite lovely, to be honest. They look like restaurant quality, not to S my own D, but. So I've decided I'm gonna do butter, jam, peanut butter, and then chocolate, not butter. Peanut butter wasn't one of the things, but I mean, who doesn't like peanut butter, you know? <gasps> oh! What the hell? What the hell? I'm flinching more than my cats. Very simple breakfast, but like, I'm gonna love it. You know, just some breads and some spreads. Can't get better than that. I mean, it's pretty simple, but that means anyone can do it. And I love that. 
I used to be so scared about eating like a full carb breakfast. Like this is just carbs and fats. Where's the protein? I used to be terrified of that. Like I would never do this. Never, not in a million years, even though this is freaking delicious. But I was like, I don't care if it'd make me happy. And now look at me. Do you guys have peanut butter and jelly in France, by the way? Because I brought peanut butter and jelly up to my French friend once and she thought it was weird. Do you guys not do that? Does any country aside from the United States do that? If you haven't tried it, you should. It's a god tier combo, I promise. I am making a breakfast that is from the Philippines, I think. Yes, the Philippines. And I'm just apologizing in advance. This is my bad. I'm kind of picking the countries as we go. And when I first read this comment, it said garlic fried rice with egg and sausage. And I was like, oh my God, I can totally do that. That's so easy. But I don't have any fresh garlic. I was like 99% sure I did. I guess I don't. So I only have garlic powder. That was my first red flag. I apologize. And then also I looked up a recipe because I was like, oh my God, am I gonna like really mess this up? And the answer is yes. And the recipe that I I looked up said that I needed day old rice and if I don't have day old rice then to pop it in the fridge like to get fresh rice and pop it in the fridge for a few hours I don't have either of that I don't have the time for that so I'm, I'm truly truly sorry but I'm basically making some garlic fried rice and then egg and sausage so that part's pretty simple let's just do that also they said that they I could add some soy sauce to the rice so here's the finished meal very simple very easy to make I did use like garlic infused olive oil to fry the rice so maybe that helped a little bit, but I'm like pretty excited to eat this I've been into savory breakfast lately, but I don't know in the morning I've just been craving something savory. I used to be like very sweet breakfast only, but I'm a changed woman. I've grown Mmm, mmm. Oh my god that olive oil definitely helped with like the garlicky flavor because that's very very garlicky Whew. Thank god. I'm not kissing anyone Probably for the rest of my life Mm -hmm. This is so good. Some of these breakfasts might become like a regular thing because these are really good. Open me up to new stuff. You should comment down below just like something you like to have for breakfast. Just so I can have some ideas, you know? Like you guys will be my new Pinterest. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!